All right, so this is a quick video, uh, sort of a demystification, if you will, of what goes on in these ignition switches on lawn tractors. Um, I'm dealing with an issue right now on two of them. They're kind of in, uh, sporadically uh, not engaging the gate, uh, blades, not starting. Uh, each one has one different issue. And um, basically the PTO on off switches and the ignition switches are the same. So I thought I would tear them apart, show you what's going on inside. And then also I'm gonna do another video on what pins connect to which under what circumstances. So the first thing I wanna do is, is just demystify this a little bit. Taking things apart that are already broken is a great way to learn. And you may not fix the machine you're working on in front of you, and you may even break it more, but you'll learn for the future. So basically the front half of the key is easy. Uh, it's just some sort of a mated, uh, piece of metal right to a cylinder and this thing turns around like this in the back so that that part's easy and self intuitive what's uh, less intuitive is what's on the back so these three uh, female pieces fit into those male pieces and so this disc turns and on the back of the ignition switch you have all these wires two four six, seven in this case and uh, on the underside, you have what I would call little buttons or contacts. They're kind of rounded over pieces of copper that connect to each of these. And as you slide this, um, this wheel or cam connects different things. So you'll see this outer wheel is basically always in contact. And then sometimes it grabs contact with these and shorts them out. Sometimes it doesn't in the black. And then you have this inner ring. So basically all you're doing is short circuiting these different pins under different conditions. You could do the same thing with a screwdriver, uh, you know, by going like that, shorting something or using wires, but this is just a very compact, robust way to always be making a series of short circuits. So you may have already noticed a possible failure mode. These are greased and they are not weather tight. There's uh, no seal in here. Uh, one problem with lawn tractors and that kind of stuff is um, they're fairly complicated, not quite as complicated as a car, but uh, consumers are willing to put up with relatively low quality and they don't cost what a car costs. And so they um, try and keep the costs down as they manufacture them. So there's no seal. That means dust and debris and dirt and sand and everything can get in here and it can impregnate as you can see the grease and eventually the grease can become conductive. Um, or um, or the opposite of conductivity would be that it insulates uh, one of these buttons from this contact pad. So you can have different failures. So sometimes just cleaning the grease out of something like this and then installing a dielectric grease can solve your problem. So um, yeah, all I really wanted to do was demystify this a little bit. I know you look at a, a switch and you look at the back and there's seven wires and you think, oh my goodness, what do they do and how would that work? And can't even imagine it, but it's relatively simple. So I'm gonna do another video um, on basically under what conditions which pins are shorted. So look up for that in a few moments. But um, the main purpose of this video is just to demystify things a little bit, to take the intimidation out of it. Um, because if you break things, if you break complicated systems down into individual components and parts, they become understandable and you lose that fear that it's too difficult to understand. So. Hopefully that helps somebody a little bit. If not, go check out videos from a guy named AVE. He is a very interesting, intelligent, uh, creative, and often vulgar uh, Canadian, but uh, you can learn a lot from him. And he does a lot of stuff like this, taking stuff apart. So if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Go see AVE. Take care, guys.